Hi, my name is Ann Nichols. I'm the lead animal care specialist of large carnivores at Brookfield Zoo. We're here at Great Bear Wilderness and we're about to go behind the scenes to do a blood draw training with our resident male polar bear, Hudson, who's right here with us. We've so, trained all of our polar bears to do voluntary blood draw behaviors based on a request from the Polar Bear Species Survival Plan. We are training bears for blood draw so that we can start to learn how polar bears are adapting to climate change, which is the number one threat in the wild for polar bears. We can use polar bears in a professionally managed program to understand how bears may adapt to climate change in the wild. So by manipulating their diet or understanding all the different blood values that they have, we can start to then apply that to bears into the wild. So this is a great way for us to monitor their health as well so that we don't have to use anesthesia to do any health checks on our bears. And so we can regularly check the bears to make sure that they're healthy throughout their lives. So right now we're gonna actually go inside behind the scenes and call Hudson into our holding area where we have a blood draw sleeve mounted in the holding area. So the Polar Bear Species Survival Planning Committee has created a polar bear master research plan. And that is a lot of studies that you can participate in. And one of them that is required by all zoos is that they do voluntary blood draw behaviors with their bears. So in order to do that, we all got together and talked to each other and we have designed blood sleeves to be installed at each institution. And so we've had this one designed, it's a removable blood sleeve. Um, it has a protective cover, so when we're not actively training, the bears cannot reach up through here. And it's built specifically based on the measurements of Hudson's paw. We have a smaller sleeve for our female polar bear. So today we're gonna show you Hudson's blood draw behavior. We're gonna bring him in here now, do a quick training session and show you all the steps that we took to train him. We taught him to sit and then to put his paw on the sleeve and then we started to just desensitize a lot of our different medical instruments that veterinary services was going to need to use. And so we desensitized him to gauze, we desensitized him to alcohol, um, we were able to shave the fur off the top of his paw and then to use a blunt needle so that he started to understand that there would be some work with his paw that way. And so then we're going to reinforce him for doing that. Polar bears are marine mammals. It means they're incredibly intelligent, which means they love to do training. They're also highly food motivated. And so we do a lot of our training here using highly reinforcing food items. Hudson's favorite is peanut butter. So you'll see us spoon feeding him peanut butter throughout this training session. It's highly reinforcing for him. And so that means he's really encouraged to voluntarily participate in this training. We use operant conditioning and positive reinforcement so Hudson can choose to participate or not. So that's how we train all of our bears here for a variety of training behaviors. Because they're really dangerous animals, we obviously don't go in with any of our polar bears, but we really wanna make sure they're healthy and that we wanna manage their care daily. So we actually ask the polar bears and all the large carnivores here at the zoo to do a lot of husbandry behaviors or behaviors that we can use to gauge their welfare and their wellness. And so we ask them to do things like open their mouth and show us their teeth. We ask them to stand up. We ask them to show us our paws just so we can make sure they're healthy. And if there's any issues, we can let our veterinary services department know that there is a concern that they can check it out. So we did everything we could before working with veterinary services and then they brought in their specialty and their actual medical training. And now they're able to draw blood themselves while the animal care specialists are doing the actual training portion. And so this is a great way so that we don't have to use anesthesia to keep Hudson healthy as he starts to get older and older into his lifetime. Thanks so much for joining us for this behind the scenes look at our polar bear blood draw behavior.